Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, July 8th, and I just posted our second exam. It's going to be due no later than 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. Once again, you don't have to wait till Sunday to do it. You don't have to wait until 10 p.m. on Sunday to do it, though you are welcome to do that. You can take it right now or any time between now and Sunday evening. It's all based on the nervous system and the endocrine system, and I should qualify that and say phototransduction is a part of this as well. There are 45 questions at two points a piece that are mostly multiple choice and some true false. So 45 times two is 90 points. The remaining 10 points are going to be provided to you or earned via an essay question. And the essay question is going to be on one of these three topics. It is either going to be talking about the, the two types of negative feedback loop with regards to the endocrine system. That is to say, I want you to be able to talk about the classic traditional feedback loop that we've talked about all semester and also the endocrine hormonal specific feedback loop that we've talked about during this module. And we've certainly talked about both of these, this module. So I want to you to talk about the classic traditional negative feedback specific to the homeostatic variable versus the hormonal negative feedback loop. That is going to be one option for the essay question. Another option for the essay question will be explaining why the sodium potassium pump nor the potassium leakage channels allow for the movement from the hyperpolarized state in a neuron at negative 90 back up to the resting state at negative 70. So once again, the question is, why can't the sodium potassium pump or potassium leakage channels move the cell voltage from negative 90 back up to negative 70. That's your second option for a question. The third one is explain the problem with some hormones not being released in a pulsatile manner. Explain why some, explain the problem that may arise when some hormones are not released in a pulsatile manner. So those are three options and I'm not giving you the options. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be one of those three questions as your essay question. I've already put it in the, in the exam. It's already there. It is going to be one of those three. You are not allowed to work with others on this exam. And once you take the exam, you're not allowed to tell people what has been on it, including the essay question. But you are certainly more than welcome to work with your colleagues, with your fellow classmates on talking about these essay questions. I won't specifically talk about these essay questions during office hours because that in essence would just be giving you the answer. Get together, talk about those. I think uh, COVID's over. It's not over. But I think you guys could actually meet at a cafe and talk about this, drink some coffee, have a latte. Um, there's a lot of really good food at uh, Lulu Carpenter's downtown. I always encourage that place. And um, yeah, that's it. It should be a lot of fun. And office hours today at 3 o'clock.